deliver. That's the yeah. first fruits. That's gonna be a whole lot more than 144,000 being delivered. Right, those 144,000 just... Those are the cream of the crop. The cream of the crop, right. But there's a one third of Israel, which is gonna make out some millions of people anyway. Seriously. But that one third is gonna make it through the fire and that two thirds is gonna get cooked. I'll get it. Literally. Yeah. Zechariah uh, 13, 13 to 9. I think it's Zechariah 13 to 9. I think it's Zechariah 13 to 9. It's right there. It's right there on There's the tons of scriptures in the Bible right. to say Israel gonna get jacked up. 13 to 9. Well, I got it. So who do y'all think is, um, can you guys support the state of Israel? Hell no. Hell no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because those people over there in that land are not Israelites. The devil. They're not the real Israelites. We're the real Israelites. What's your opinion on the Palestinian-Israeli conflict? They need to, wait, they don't need to be there either because it's not their land either. Who? The Palestinians. They're Muslims. They're all anti-Christ. Those are Arabs. Most of them Arabs are Arabs. Arabs are Christians too. Well, some of them. Why yeah. is there the most part. Right now? Huh? Yeah, Why? you're right. Hey. <laughs> I mean, I mean, hey. I believe everybody deserves to live there. Well, you, just, what you believe is wrong. Yeah, hey, we don't care what you believe. Well, yeah, everybody, she's saying. she's saying that a, a devil worshiper is okay, that he's going to make it into the kingdom of heaven. That's pretty much what she's saying. Yeah, because all the, like going back to this, uh, she, you're talking about Christians being beheaded. Hey, get Revelation 2 and 9. I'm going to get that Zachariah. Right, said it I already got Zachariah. Okay, okay. No, but so, yeah, all the, the ISIS terrorists. That, 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 that was funded by the CIA and Mossad. You know, Mossad from the state of Israel. Them, them fake Jews over there, they're partly behind, probably fully behind all that, them fake terrorist groups. That's right. They, they, they funded them, giving them weapons and money. So they, just so they can kill Christians. But let me, I'm gonna back up what we's talking about. Two thirds of Israel gonna get destroyed. Uh, Zechariah 13 and uh. You believe in the Bible? Believe the Bible? You do? Okay, these are he ain't, this is not his opinion, and he's not making up no words and putting this Bible either. He's just uh, reading straight out the Bible. That's all we do is just read out the Bible. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, all saith the, land. the Lord, two parts. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. It's said fractions, right? Yeah, two parts. So we're talking about a whole, the two pie parts chart. of a whole. The pie chart right there. Yeah. So uh, so that, that two parts out of the whole, that's 66.6. .6. Yeah, 66. That's a spiritual number, 666, you know? 66.6%. .6 that's right. going to be destroyed. So, okay. Wow. So God is saying, if he's not saying, because, okay. There's going to be a whole lot of death and destruction. Okay, Basically. I know that. That's like, a with the great tribulation well, and everything, is this, is this wait. number coming from the, um, <laughs> the great tribulation or God's Well, life? the word tribulate, there's going to be some tribulation, all right. But these churches are teaching a bugged out, whacked out doctrine. So you gotta forget all that church madness and all this rapture, the great tribulation. They don't know what the hell they talk about. This is in the Bible. The Bible condemns churches itself. Yeah. You know, it's supposed to be out here in the streets. This is the church. Yeah, this is the church right here. No, my question is, are these people going to die as a result of the Great Tribulation? Or you, is this going to be these people, Armageddon? You're part of these people. You're an Israelite. Yeah. <laughs> You said these people, I'm you're an Israelite. Because you're an Israelite. You're, you're an Israelite. Oh, she does. My fault. We know through your spirit. Get revelation. You know? Am I am I Israelite? Am I Israelite? No. Why not? You're an Edomite. What is that? You're, you're of the other another <laughs> nation. You're totally another nation than these people right here. You're not part of these people right here. Well, how do you know? Just through your spirit, so man. Just spirit bearing witness. Yeah, your spirit. How do you know his spirit is, though? Right. The spirit doesn't did. lie. The Lord gave us uh, spir You're, spiritual uh, glasses. Well, right, so You're that's for God to know. Like, no, you can't say. Well, like, oh, you, we, like, we, we, never we, we never even had a conversation. But we never had a conversation. What about, like, my physical appearance? No, we ain't going by, like, go by your physical appearance. We ain't going by physical appearance. No. So no. you said my spirit. What's your Your eyes. You ever, sir, you ever heard the saying, the window of the soul to someone's heart from their eyes? You ever heard that saying? The window to someone's soul to their eyes? That's how. Let me get this real quick. I already tell you. I can already tell you it's Amalek. You know who Amalek is? No. Read this. Right. Revelation so 2 and 9. Have... I know thou works and tribulation and poverty. This is talking to the real Israelites. Most of us are poor. Okay? Those so called Jews in the state of Israel, they're not poor. They own all the banks, they own Hollywood, the music industry. 
Yeah, they're, they're not real Jews. Do not sign this. Listen, listen to this. Revelations 2 and 9. I know thou works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Well, ri the real riches is the knowledge. This Bible right here. Yeah, the scriptures say, lay up your treasures in heaven. Keep going. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. Right. But are the synagogue of Satan. So are you guys Jews? I'm a Jew. You know, you're Israelite. I'm a Jew. Priest, free and all the tribes ain't Jews. Yeah. Jews just, the name Jew just comes from Judah, just short for Judah. But the only okay. people calling themselves Jews today, because we don't use that word Jew. Thank you. We use Judites. That's what the Bible uses That's right. for the most part. That's right. Judite, uh, Levite, you know, Iscarite, mm -hmm. uh, Edomite. Uh, Edomite, Edomite, Amalekite. That guy goes, nice talking to you guys. All right. All right, All right Amalekite. Revelations 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan which say they are Jews and are not but do lie. Because I didn't even know that that guy was a so-called Jew, because he's not a Jew. But like he said before, we didn't, because he, because I heard him say that he was a Jew. But we didn't know that, we didn't ask him, we just, through the spirit, we could tell him that he was a, he was a Edomite. Right, what is the Edomite? Okay, let me read this real quick. This is Romans 8 and 14. For as many as are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Yeah, we're all led by the spirit. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, fire. Father, the spirit itself bears witness. The spirit itself bears witness. With our spirit. With our spirit. That we are the children of the Most High. So we are on the same vibration, you know what I mean? That's how we know you're an Israelite. Well, we can't have a conversation with the heathen. Like an Edomite might come up, can't have a conversation with him. We on a t on a totally different vibration. It's like we're on FM and he's AM. Right. And if, you know he's so, if he's so spiritual, why'd he leave then? Yeah, why'd he leave? You know what I mean? You know? He's going to straight to the bar. I mean, that's a, <laughs> the bar ain't going nowhere. This bar's gonna be open until 2.33 o'clock. Yeah. And then after the bar he can go to the half hour. If he yeah, yeah. if he if he can because yeah. <laughs> Israel also Israel's a lively people. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got spirit. Ooh, that's spirit, bro. That's so, spirit bad. Like especially the so, women too. It, so true. what Bible do you guys do? Does it matter which Bible? No, because I don't understand the whole religion thing. Like I practice with This ain't religious. This ain't religious thing. Right, and the I Bible itself is not a religious book. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like why are Giving labels to people like I don't really understand. Well, I don't, because there's a lot of, there's a lot to take in. You know what I mean? Basically, I'll give it to you like this. Uh, you got the children of God, then you got the children of Satan. Okay, that so he, he was, he wanted to check. Yeah, he was a devil. He's a devil. Why do you say that? Well, he is. He's a devil. So why do you say that? You can't say the so Most High made him a devil. And he just read it in the Revelation. It, he just read Revelation two and nine and said, I know the blasphemy that then would say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Chief House of Satan. So do you because it's people who probably be following Satan or I mean even in the Christian church, they think they follow on the right thing, but they well, our people are that famous for that. that evil. Our our people are known to be devil worshipers. Our people are evil. Our people are evil. Because all these churches Israel. Our people in Israel, right here. Our That's people in Israel. We're famous for uh, worship. Our people, all these churches are essentially pagan, devil worshiping temples. Oh my God, really? Essentially. Right. One of the main reasons. Oh, go ahead. Right, go ahead. So, then, so say I'm a person who goes to church, then I would be considered a devil. No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. No, some not of those people, when this time, when this time comes, they're going to come up out of those churches. Yeah, they're going to come out of A lot of those people in churches, they're going to put those pastors to death because yep. they're going to find out. Well, actually, they're finding out now that these pastors have been deceiving the people right. for years. You ever heard of what they call the, um, the 501 tax charter? No. Well, it's what these... Oh, they get rid of them on their taxes, right? It's um, these devils. I, 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 they're, they're, they're pretty much government-sponsored churches. Uh -huh. Okay. Because it's the devil. The devil controls the government. Right. All, all, all the so-called white people that control the government, the world. You ever hear the Illuminati? Mm -hmm. Those are Edomites. And it's all... Uh, really, is the, the chief Edomite is 
one of the, that devil that we just uh oh, there's another one over there yeah i, I just seen what i was looking That's for the spirit yeah going down there. the so-called jews are the ones that control the earth and they're edomites the devils that's why they consider themselves jews oh, here it is. I got this down. or israeli this should be this you should like this, this yeah because not all people are the same nation you know what i mean mm -hmm. just because somebody got black skin you know like those nasty ass africans excuse my language but those nasty africans we're not African. They're a totally different nation than us. You know? That's why you don't see no uh, prince, uh, individual like Prince come out of Africa. That's why you don't see no Jimi Hendrix come out of Africa. Ain't nobody rapping Tupac. like Tupac. Ain't no Tupac's in Africa. You know? You don't see them coming out of Africa. That's a big nation. That's a big continent. Yep. Why is it everything of greatness coming out of this part? It's so called Negro. You know? Because this is where the masses of the Israelites are. Over here. Yep, over if here. not Europe. Because Europe's full of it. Like Ireland, Scotland. A lot of those white people you look at as like white, you call, you call white boys Italians, or white girls, Italians. Italians. Yeah, because essentially, like, like, essentially what he's telling you is the white man's the devil. <laughs> yeah. That's what he's telling you. Because okay. it's in the Bible. We wouldn't be out here okay, deceiving Okay, that's what I was getting to going to ask you because I know Malcolm X well, says Martin the Mexico same thing in that. <laughs> well, he believed that until he went over there and Christ was committing homosexual acts with those, those devils over there. Came back here a totally different man, you know? Well, let me read this real quick. This yeah, because Islam is madness. Yeah, the Quran is for homosexuality. It does. And okay. pedophilia. Right. So you guys have no religion? No. The Bible? No religion. That's the Bible is our religion. Well, the Bible is our religion. This is our rock. This is, this, is a, this is our faith. <laughs> yeah. This is our faith. Yeah, it's our faith. This is our lover. <laughs> this is our boo. Yeah. <laughs> Coming to court. Yeah, because religion, you know, see that word religion, that's a... Reliquio. Religio. I mean, Religio is Latin. Because religion, today, religion is associated with slavery, bondage, mind control. And that's what it means. To yeah, hold back and restrain from truth. Religion. Okay, here you go. Romans, Romans 9 and 10. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father, Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to the election, might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. Now, Jacob and Esau, you know the story of Jacob and Esau? Because Esau is the father of the Edomites. Remember, he told that, that fake Jew that he was an Edomite. Okay, because they, they claim to be Jews and they're not Jews. Identity thieves. Yeah, identity thieves. They're really from the, uh, and the rabbis in the synagogues teach them that they're actually Edomites from the tribe of Amalek. I was wondering, what is your core belief? Like, in a nutshell, who do you guys believe? The Lord only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The one you call Jesus Christ only came for the Israelites. No, he only came for the yeah, that's our core belief. That's it. Well, yeah, only Israel's is good. Only the Lord is good. The Lord, the Lord sent Israel to rule all nations. Okay, because we're, we're a special people. Speaking about getting rid of white Christians, like they have a mission statement. Muslims have a mission statement. What is the belief? Well, it's in the Bible. The Bible. The Bible. The Bible. This, is, like, this is the belief. You would have to do you. You have to of course. Yeah, yeah. but of course. We, you gotta, we gotta, we gotta sit and talk about that because you don't have a clear understanding of that that scripture. How does the, but how does the court system do unto you? How does that treat you? How does the government treat you? Do they follow the golden rule? No. Hell no. They're the devil. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. He's been, hey, he's keeping it real. <laughs> keeping it real. We can't be out here and keep it false. I just told you. The Lord said he only, he came from the lost sheep of the house of Israel. To wake Israel up to the truth. We just can't answer that. And just you know what I mean, bro. It's, that's a that's a yeah. that's, that's a complex question. So it's wait, just like so reading history. Israel, it's vast. It's the the answer is yeah. too vast. You you just said it. It's always going to be complex. You're an Israelite. You're an Israelite. So when the Lord comes, which He is about to come, this ain't something that's coming years from now. It's in been, someone else's lifetime. Yeah, it's been years. You're yeah. going to witness this death, this destruction, this deliverance in your lifetime. Right. Okay? And that's why we got to come out here and teach the world to people. You, do y'all do you see what's going okay, on in the I world? Don't think, okay, well, if you're teaching God's word, then you have to 
think about the way you approach people because well, that's turning uh, people away from God's we, word if you're being see, aggressive see, or see. We supposed you just can't let us, you just can't let what's coming out of our mouths uh, um, um, uh, 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 turn you from the message. Oh, it won't turn you from. No, you know what I'm saying. It might turn a weak, a weak, a weak mind. Well, we don't see. That's the thing. That's just it. Yeah, we ain't. That's just it. We ain't out here for everybody and anybody. We already told you two thirds is going to die that death. Right. They're going to die. There's no hope for them. But then Jesus said to spread His word to everybody, right? Say what? Jesus said to spread His word to everybody. That's what we're doing. That's why we're out here on the streets. You're not out here for everybody. But we're not. See, that's listen. Um, um, what's that? Ezekiel 9, Mark 2, Listen. Put a mark on the forehead. All right, I'll read it. Okay. Like you said, um, we're out here to bear witness, so when the time comes, no one's going to be able to say, Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. How did you know when you rode by in your car, you rode by on your bike, you walked by? Now if, you, if you saw the Bible, the, the, the prophets out here reading, and just because we call ourselves prophets don't mean we're going to just take off and fly somewhere. Uh, yeah, because any, anybody that believes in the truth is a prophet. That's true. Because like the New Testament says, like Paul said that ye must prophesy. And he said that to the whole church. So everybody in the church is supposed to prophesy. Hold on. Taylor. Yeah, no, I'm about to read this. Cry Loudville, too. Read both of them. Right, right, go ahead. Both go together. Listen to this. Listen to this. Ezekiel. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Oh, I got Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city. Through the midst of the city. Through the midst of Jerusalem. Now, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Right now, we in Jerusalem right here. This is Jerusalem. When we're around, that is <laughs> not just everybody. That is everybody. Like I said, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. And the, and the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark. Set a mark upon the foreheads. That means your forehead means just in your mind. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Now what we were saying, two thirds of Israel, what I was saying, two thirds of Israel, they're not out here signing the crime for all these abominations that's going on. Sounds like a product of interpretation. They're a product, to, to two thirds I hear, they're a part of that, that abom those abominations. And interpretation. Nah, what did that scripture mean? Scripture here? says there is no private interpretation. There's either the truth or there's a lie. Because if you, you know, if he's interpreted, then you must know that? what the scripture means. No. Yeah, well, I'm reading the Bible, but I don't, I don't know. But it's, you know, it's, it, you are interpretending it. No, right? actually. When you, when you read a book, it's read a book. You, actually, you actually interpret it. Right? Yeah, that's so when, I, when I read the Bible, you know, I interpret it for me and, you know, what I believe. And then when you read the Bible, you interpret it for you. Read Isaiah. It's a product of interpretation. Look, right? that, that's not even open to interpretation. It's clear. Set a mark on it. Men that, that sign cry. Y'all made it to where. Are you signing crying for all right? the abominations? Yo, are you? Are it's you? In mind. Let me ask you a question. There, there what is here. an abomination? But, so so we supposed to put check marks so, on people's so, heads? So, 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 Y'all must get a sharpie. So, 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 a human uh, being uh, makes a, uh, a uh, personal uh, decision, uh, a choice. Ezekiel nine and four. Right. So you tell me, I'm supposed to get a sharpie and put check marks on people's heads? I mean, that's what it sounds like to me. Come on, bro. You don't understand the Bible. Come on, man. First of all, the Lord's not dealing with you to understand the Bible in the first place. Say what? The Bible doesn't deal with you. Okay, well, you, why are you even, why are you even commenting with that? I mean, because, I mean, you're out here talking, I can talk right, to you. Right, so the Bible don't... I mean, so we didn't, I mean, if you're helping the you, people... You, well, you, you were right, though. The Bible's not for you. Yeah, it's not right. for... Exactly. Exactly. Two-thirds, that's, that's what we're just saying. saying. So your that's interpretation isn't for everybody, right? That means covered. that your interpretation ain't for everybody, right? Right, you're right. Exactly. It's not for you. My point exactly. There is one. There is one. You guys are awesome, man. I, I hear you guys out here every he week, man. So and, right. and you don't fail to surprise me, man. Every week I see you starting um, arguments. Uh, you might so every week you guys are busting and fighting. We, right. You know how it goes every deep. Every single week. How we gonna get every week. I have not gotten anything good from y'all. Nothing. I've been just bust out and I catch y'all every week saying the same. God will be good, and it doesn't hit nobody's hearts or souls, and it doesn't preach to nobody. You know, no, I'm not getting emotional. I'm talking how y'all talk to people when y'all talk to people. So now you're being a hypocrite. Now you're being a hypocrite. Hey, 
I'm a hypocrite then. You admit it. I am a hypocrite. You admit it. Yes, I'm a hypocrite. We're not. Wait, I'm a hypocrite. Yes. We're not. Matthew's 10 and 34. Read, read <laughs> Proverbs 15, 1. Go read it, bro. Read, read, read Proverbs 15, 1. Read, just read word, Proverbs 15, 1. Matthew's 10 and 14. Bash me on it. Go ahead. Hey, can you explain that? Think right? not that I come to send peace on earth. There ain't going to be no peace. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So the Lord's bringing a sword. Now interpret that. Yeah, well, how, now how come the Lord ain't teaching what kind good? Of, what kind of sword is it? I don't know. You guys are the, what, what you guys are the truth. You no. know. You ever seen a sword? You know. Since no, you want to say no, more, you, you said you're, it's the truth. You it's must the, know something. You believe that it's the truth, right? You know so that means that you right? know. We're you know for a right? fact, beyond a reasonable doubt, that face. what you're saying is the truth. And it's the truth for everybody. But, but when true, I talk from my perspective, it's not the truth for you. It, no, what? it's the truth for everybody else. But what's your perspective on that scripture? Hey, I don't have a perspective on that scripture, man. I'm not a Christian. Read it again. Matthew 10, 10 and 34. That I have come to send peace on earth. Think not. What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? The Lord is. I'm not taking it literal. I mean, have y'all ever heard of the Council of Nicaea? This was written. This, this was written like 300 years before the Council of Nicaea. <laughs> it was written 300 years after the no, Council of Nicaea. No, no, you don't know nothing. Paul wasn't around until after the Council of Nicaea. You gone, bro. No, I'm not gone. You gone. This is documented history. No, no, documented history. Hey, 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 so the scripture. So the script, somebody wrote that. You don't know that. Somebody wrote that. So yes, the Bible is documented. But does it make it all true? Nah, not at all. 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 He was a murderer from the beginning and involved not in the truth. He said Paul lived after the time of Constantine. How stupid is that? How long we all be here? I ain't never heard nobody say that. Paul lived during the time of Constantine. Right, 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 right. He was involved not in the truth. When Paul was killed by the Emperor Nero. How if he was killed by the Emperor Nero? How did he live during the time of Constantine? Right, right. Hey, totally different era. If that was the case, why they kill the prophets then, man? Yeah, why they kill the Why they kill the Lord? Why they put him on the cross? If they were talking about buttercup, why they kill him, man? You the one. You killed the Lord. Handing out chocolate kisses. Handing out chocolate kisses. Why did you kill the prophets when they handed out flowers? Kissing babies. Two thousand years ago. Two thousand years ago, you rejected the Lord. You, you're the one. The people that said we had no king but Caesar. Come Come on, on, that's what. That's you. That's you, you chose. I said that. That you chose for rabbits over the Lord. That was my word. Those are your words. Yes. Yeah, you said that. Yeah, you can't. You in the reincarnation. You no. You lived two thousand years ago. Come down from the kingdom and put words in my mouth. You back in the reincarnation. Right. You back in the reincarnation. Reincarnation for what? What kind of reincarnation? What's the reincarnation? Forty-four. You are of your father, the devil. Y'all ain't saying that. In the lust of your father, ye will do. And y'all telling you he was a murderer from the beginning. In a boat, not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. There ain't no truth in me. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. Ain't no truth. Ain't no truth for me. He admitted it. He said there's no truth in it. You standing there with the Bible. He admitted it. On your own. That's why the Lord has a spirit on you. You just lost the sheep as I am. When he speaketh a lie, book that wasn't even written he speaketh you. his own. You, know you speaking of your own. He the book wasn't even For he is a liar and the father of it. You're a liar. You, you said true. Paul lived during the time of Constantine. Come on, man. Somebody Google what year Paul lived and what year Constantine lived. Constantine. Find out how it stupid this motherfucker hey, is. Find out how stupid your ass is. You dumb about as hell. Okay. Okay. Man, he's talking about it. Let me bad. show you something. I'm going to show you something. The Bible is a fairy tale. Let me show you something. That's talking about it. A curse word is when you say the Bible is not real. the Bible tells you to be lying. No. Well, we usually are. We usually are. 
We usually are. Yeah, we better, usually are. Better, it's not for women. I mean, how were we? Be, how was it before uh, he even, even opened better, his mouth? I mean, better you know, yeah, you know a fool causes confusion. You know. But let me show you. So let me just show you something. Let me just show you something. Hold on. Uh, go ahead.